everybody, it's me, Lego 3 by Lemonel, and I'm finally, finally back with a new video for you guys. I feel like I say that in every single video I make, and then I don't make another video for about a year or so, and, um, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I really don't like the lack of videos in 2017, and I hope that 2018 will be much, much better. But seeing as I just got a small little studio space to film in, and a new camera, I have high hopes for that. This video is finally another Harry Potter video. God, I've been missing those. Harry Potter is certainly one of my favorite things in the world, and definitely my favorite theme to make videos about. Though I haven't made any videos in the past year, do not think I've been slacking in the minifigure department, and if you want to see new minifigures from me when I've finished with them, and not after making a video about them, I suggest you to go check out my Flickr and Instagram, because I post updates there much more often than I do here on YouTube. But enough of that stuff, let's get into the showcase, shall we? Is it a death omen? Or is it just a Lego dog? Before Harry and the others meet Sirius, Harry sees a big black dog on a few occasions. He's led to believe that this is a death omen, and is afraid that it's all just in his head, as nobody else seems to have seen it. He later finds out that this was not the case, as it was just Sirius Black in disguise all along. After making the other three minifigures in the showcase, I thought it would be really fun to try to make the Grim, Patfoot, or Snuffles, or whatever you call him, so many names. Anyway, I started out with one of the older Lego dogs, and then I just began by sanding off the ears and sculpting a new set. After that, I went around and bulked up other parts of the body, like the neck and the shoulders and the tail, and in the end, I just extended the snout a little bit. Then I just gave the whole thing a coat of black paint. Well, that was pretty much it. I'm not gonna act like I'm the best sculptor in the world, and this is not perfect. I don't really think it looks too good from the front, but from the sides, I think it looks really good. But yeah, it's, it's not it's not bad. I uh, I am satisfied with it. So that's cool. The first time we meet Sirius, Harry still doesn't know of his innocence and thinks that Sirius betrayed his parents. Sirius has also just tried to bite Ron's leg off, so that doesn't exactly help with the first impressions. By looking at him, he doesn't exactly look like a nice innocent man either, in his torn up Azkaban outfit and skeleton-like features, from being in Azkaban for 12 years and underrun for one. For this minifigure, I tried to make the lines a bit rougher than I usually do, because it is supposed to be an old outfit that he's been wearing whilst being on the run for a while, so it's old and it's dirty. You can also see I made his uh, tattoo on his chest. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be, but I just tried to make it as accurate as I could. The dark bluish grey Azkaban prisoner suit that he's wearing has these horizontal stripes, as you'd also see in the LEGO City Police line. But here, as with most other lines on this minifigure, I used the Liquify tool in Photoshop to just make it a bit rougher. And I really like the look that it gives. For the jacket, I just took a minifigure cape and just cut it to shape, pretty much the same as I did for my new to Commander minifigure, this time just not as detailed. If we take the jacket off and take a look at the back, you can see there's not really that much going on. It's just the back of a jacket that looks a bit rough. And on this minifigure, it doesn't really matter too much because it would be covered up by the jacket anyway. But you know me, I just like having back printing on my minifigures. The head is a custom one. I think I've said in many videos now that I don't really do head printing that often. And even though I'd rather avoid it because it always looks better with the official Lego print, I feel like I've done it so many times now that that statement just doesn't really hold water anymore. For the foundation of the head, I used Commissioner Gordon from one of the Dark Knight Rises sets to really nail that look of a Gary Oldman, which is the actor who plays Sirius. And it's not perfect, but I don't think it's too far off. As for most other thing on this minifigure, I tried to make the beard look a bit more rough, because he wouldn't have been able to shave for a while, so his beard has just gone out of control. The last thing I'll mention is the bags beneath his eyes. Again, this is just to further that on-the-run Azkaban look. But yeah, that was uh, the first minifigure slash dog, and let's move on to the next one. During his fourth year at Hogwarts, Harry corresponds with Sirius on multiple occasions to get help with the tasks in the tournament. After the meeting at the end of Book 4, where Harry informs Dumbledore and Sirius about the events that just took place at the graveyard, Harry and Sirius doesn't meet each other for a few months. One night in August, Harry is taken to the headquarters of the Order of the Phoenix, unknowing that this is actually the old Black family house, and that he is about to spend the rest of his summer in the company of his godfather. 
This minifigure is based on the outfit that Sirius wears when Harry arrives at Grimmauld Place. Compared to the first one, this one is much cleaner, both in the clothing that he's wearing, but also in my design of him, as I used much smoother lines than I did for the first one. His shirt is a muted purple with vertical stripes. Though printed out, it might look more dark red, due to my printer being, well, not the best. He's also wearing a grey vest with some small pattern detail on it. Again, this is probably a little bit difficult to see on camera. That printer should probably get a new one. The coat he's wearing is in dark red, and this one has this nice detailed parts to button it up. It was really fun to make because the shapes were just very different from other minifigures that I've done, and it's always nice to try something new. This was actually also the main reason for me making this minifigure, because in the beginning I only wanted to make two. But then I saw this nice design and I was like, yeah, you know what, I'll just make a third one. The last notable thing about the front, except for the belt and other small detail like folds and stuff, is a pocket watch you can see sticking out under the coat. I really like making small details like this, and the figure just really wouldn't look the same without it. If we turn around to the back, there's not really that much going on. You can just see some visible stitching that you normally see on the back of coats. And then you have this uh, nice design from the front again, continuing onto the back here. I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be, but again, I just really like it. I was thinking about making a custom cloth jacket like I did for the first minifigure, but I really didn't want to cover up this nice detail on the back, so I just ended up not doing it. It could have looked cool, but hey, it's fine without it. There's one more noteworthy thing about this minifigure, but I think I'll cover that when I talk about the last one. During his final exam in History of Magic, Harry has a vision of Voldemort torturing Sirius. And Harry being Harry, of course he rushes to his aid only to find out that this was in fact a trap set by you know who and his Death Eaters to get Harry to the Department of Minifigure. Because as we know, Harry is the only one except for Voldemort who can actually get the prophecy. A fierce battle then pursues and Harry, Run, Hermione, Ginny, Luna and Neville just barely escapes with their lives before the Order of the Phoenix comes and tries to fight off the Death Eaters. This minifigure was the second one I made, having made the Person of Azkaban version a couple of years ago. I know this one looks kind of similar to the Grimmauld Place one, but that is simply because the outfits are, except for the jacket, pretty damn similar save for some color variants. I did think the coats were different enough though, to justify making two minifigures. The vest for this one is in dark brown, and it again has a nice little pattern, just very different from the last one. The pocket watch carries on from the Grimmauld Place one, so does the belt. Those are pretty much exactly the same print. This time around, the jacket is in dark tan, and it has these vertical stripes going down, that also continues onto the legs a little bit. On the back it's even simpler than the other version, as there's pretty much just stripes and some standard coat details, so not really anything to get too excited about. The thing I left out on the other one was the head, because these ones are exactly the same. So I thought I'll just talk about it now. The differences between the Prison of Azkaban one is the beard, because I made it much cleaner and shaven, and the expression I just made more happy by removing the bags beneath the eyes and making him smile a little bit more. All of this just to make him look more healthy, as he's not under Ron anymore. So, that was, um, that, that was, this, um, th there's this thing I... I feel like I, I forgot to mention it's um, so in this scene it's, there's this um, this this duel it's but <laughs> I can't do this. So that was um, my serious black minifigure from from when we first see him and until the last. <laughs> Yourself. Sirius Black is a character that I really like, but in the movies I really feel like they messed up the relationship between him and Harry, they really didn't give it enough time, and when Sirius Black does in fact die in the movies, I really don't think it has that big of an impact. Still a performance by Gary Oldman though. When then listening to the books though, boy, boy did it have an impact. Also, making it about a cadaver that kills him is just so stupid. I really don't like that and I could rant about that for hours, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time than I already have. And this video is just around 10 minutes anyway, so I, I don't need to. But in the little clip I showed before, it was intentional that the spell wasn't green. So I'm just letting you know that so you don't go crazy in the comments. I intentionally made it not green. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really want to push myself to make more videos and I really don't like that I haven't made any videos for just such a long time. I really wanted this video to come out in February and then March and then April and it's freaking May now. So what happened? 
If you go to my Instagram, you might know what happened. I got distracted by another little project. I really like that project. Not gonna spoil what it is right here, but uh, yeah, you can go check that out if you want to. It's almost done though, so I hope that I can make more videos now. Anyway, yeah, that was um, that was it. It's not, it's not nothing else. To, I'm bad at that. Hope to see you in my next video and Lego 3 by 11L. Signing out.